actually our families have been coming to this church since 1965. Um, that's 58 years, <laughs> that's a lot of years. <laughs> Prior to coming here, uh, both, our, both our families, and they were good friends, had been attending a local mainline church here in town. And our parents, being Sunday school teachers, um, had become increasingly concerned about the curriculum that they were being asked to teach. It questioned the truth of scripture, and so uh, they decided that they needed to look for another church. And I, I remember as an eight-year-old boy, our family visiting two or three local churches looking for a new church home. After visiting the Chatham Alliance Tabernacle, as it was called then, I still remember my mother saying after we arrived home from the service, that church felt like home. So that little white building, uh, which was down at 37 Third Street, is where the formative years of our Christian faith and uh, discipleship took place. We are so thankful for the, the pastors, uh, Sunday school teachers, and um, youth leaders who encouraged us and challenged us in our faith. And it was in that little church that both Ruth and I were baptized mm -hmm. uh, at different times. Uh, and while we have really warm memories of that little church, uh, that physical structure really did have its limits. Um, the capacity of that church would be about 130 or 140 people. And we were running pretty close to capacity. Um, we had no parking of our own and there was no room to add any kind of addition onto the church. Uh, things such as holding Sunday school classes uh, in a little furnace room in the basement. Uh, there was a very small kitchen in the basement where they held Sunday school classes. And there was also a Sunday school class held in, um, in a little room just off the platform in the main sanctuary. Now I remember that room because as a teenager I went to um, a boy's Sunday school class there and that room had no heat. So in the winter time, when it got really cold, we wore our coats to Sunday school. I think it was cold enough you could actually see your breasts sometimes. So it was very apparent uh, to our church leadership that um, we needed to relocate. When I look back now on that move from that little church out here to Gregory Drive, that was a very, very bold step of faith by our um, church leadership in the congregation. Uh, you have to remember this was the 70s and interest rates were on the rise. In fact, they were double what they are now. Uh, we built a structure believing God was leading us to do this um, and it would, he would provide the resources we needed and God was faithful. In preparation to make this video, um, I contacted a former pastor of ours, Reverend Jerry Hunter, uh, just to refresh my memory surrounding the actual move from downtown Chatham out here to Gregory Drive. Now, Jerry was a pastor during an entire time of um, the transition from downtown Chatham out here to Gregory Drive. And, and I firmly believe it was his, his vision and tenacity that helped overcome so many obstacles that we encountered along the way to come out here. Uh, when we moved to Gregory Drive back in the late 70s, um, the Maple subdivision was all farm field. In fact, all of Orangewood, that was all farm field. But we knew the plans, the city plans were for the state to eventually expand out this way. So that's why we relocated to this location. And when I was talking to, to Reverend Hunter, to Jerry, he reminded me that the only way we were able to get this building up with the limited resources we have was because of the um, very large number of volunteer help we had from the congregation. This structure we have now would not have been possible without that volunteer help. Yes, our first core memory in this new building is October 6, 1979, which is our wedding day, which just happened to be the first wedding to take place in the sanctuary. And now, 44 years later, that blue carpeting in the sanctuary is finally being replaced as part of our upcoming renovations. An overwhelming memory for us 
is while we have had many different pastors over our over our 58 years the gospel has always been faithfully proclaimed from the pulpit and that continues to this day with pastor steve and as a result we have just witnessed many changed lives not only was the gospel preached from the pulpit but it was also uh, taught to our kids and from their early years in Sunday school right through their teen, teen years in youth. And again, we are just so thankful to God for the, the pastors, the youth leaders, the Sunday school teachers that all came alongside us to help our, teach our children the foundation of faith. I guess some of our, our sweetest memories too are those when we were able to unite together uh, at a, as a church to provide uh, community outreach events such as Bethlehem Live um, or the Easter Dinner Theater, and just the teamwork and the unity uh, we experienced during those times was such a blessing. And at the same time, the best part was that the gospel message was being clearly presented. I guess Ray and I, we just believe that our best days are ahead of us. Uh, just as we've seen God's faithfulness over these past 100 years, he doesn't change. And we know that he, we serve a faithful and a loving father who has great plans for Gregory Drive. We just pray that we continue to seek him, his word, and by the power of the Holy Spirit to proclaim Jesus to our community and to those who we come in contact with.